What's up guys, it's Chris Luck and today we're gonna take the dogs out on a little walk. Not a little walk. We're gonna drive all the way down the Chiniac, I think. Take them to the beach and I wanna talk about uh, my two favorite attachments for a camera that you guys should have. First, I gotta lock the shed here. All right, well, I'm gonna get, let's get the dogs in the truck here and then we'll uh, talk about what they are. Hey, come on up, guys. All right, let's get the dogs up here. Oh. Go on up, Sniper. You got it. Come on up, big guy. Come on. You got it. Come on, you got it. This dog has no problem doing this. Oh, now you can do it just fine, right? Good boy. All right. Go on, get in. Good job, guys. Okay, watch out. I used to keep the dogs in the front with me, but I've had dog hair in my photography, um, on my photos and stuff, so I had too much dog hair in my truck. Let's, uh, let's go to Chiniac first. Well, as you know, I came to take the dogs out, past month and a half really. I've been coming out almost every weekend looking for my little Northern Hawk owl. And I could have sworn I seen him the one time, but looking back, it wasn't it. And I came out with the dogs to Chiniac and he was in this tree over here. In fact, I think he's still there. Really hard to tell. It kind of looks like a branch, but I'm really happy that I uh, finally saw him. The hard work did finally pay off. And uh, I just got some awesome, awesome photos. I, I stopped, got the binoculars out, looked, and I was like, I can't tell. I had the dog, so I moved them away. They were good, they didn't bark or anything. Um, yeah, he's still there in that tree. It's kind of hard to tell. It literally looks like a branch. You, you gotta have like a trained eye. Not a trained eye, but you have to see it first to realize what you're looking at. But so tiny, so cute. Um, let me, I'm gonna go take the dogs now and uh, hopefully it's still here when I come back. Maybe in a better posture or something, but yeah, that was cool. That is cool. Check out this photo. All right, well, it was really nice to see the owl, but uh, I just want to say that the dogs have officially won. They've defeated me, and uh, I can't take it anymore. They are a pain to take anywhere. They really are. I love them. I love seeing how happy they get when they go out. But first, let me show you the, this is the soft top, right? I had to screw wood here because the zipper broke and they kept, jumping out well not jumping out but they'd peek their head out and i'd scare i'd be scared they would fall so this has some wood in here i had to screw it in here because they would lift it up somehow and get their head sticking out and then i was like oh while i was looking at the owl look how good they were doing they were doing so good yeah well come look at this unbelievable how did they do this? Like, why? What? Why? I just want to be able to take the dogs places, but they're psychopaths. They're literally, watch this. They're going to dislocate my arm trying to open this. It's ruined. Don't ever buy the soft top if you have dogs. It's useless. Biggest waste of $1,000. I should have just bought the real one, but I didn't. Alrighty guys, absolutely really windy. My hands are really, really cold right now. After dealing with the dogs, we just play with them for a little bit. Got some photos and some video for of them. I wanted to fly the drone, but it is really windy. Um, so anyway, two camera attachments that you need, and they're both right here on this uh, Canon R5, and it's also on the R that I'm recording with. So the first thing is the L bracket. And what's great about this is, especially for northern lights or anything that requires a tripod, I can have it set up and then I can just flip it. 
on the tripod. Instead of moving the tripod like this and then rotating the tripod and then it's off center, it, it, it's not stable. Um, it looks very uh, insecure, like everything's gonna fall apart. The reason the L bracket is so good is because it adds stability to your camera when you are putting it on the tripod. I've actually had a camera fall because the tripod was the tripod was this way here it slowly slipped off the tripod so when it's on the L bracket it's still upright and then the other thing that's on the L bracket is this peak design tripod mount one it fits all my tripods but two if I want to just put this right up here it's good to go especially with my dogs I could be hands-free that's how I've been hiking the past year and a half it's really nice. I do recommend sometimes alternating sides because it can add uh, some pain to the shoulder if you have a heavy lens like this 70 to 200 on. Right now, um, it's hard to do anything just because it's so, so cold. It looks warm though, doesn't it? It looks like a spring day, but don't let that fool you. I just wanted to make that quick, uh, you know, what I wanted to do. I'm so glad I saw that out today. I'm, I'm probably gonna go back for it in a little bit just gonna play with the dogs and uh, enjoy this video of the dogs. I was lying to you about the owl. He's right here and I'm hoping he doesn't fly away by the time I show you. But it's right here. You can see how tiny it is. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. They're so tiny. They're like, I said before they're like the size of a cat, but it's more like a, oh, it's flying. I wonder if we caught that or not. I had a feeling it was gonna do that. Ugh. They're so hard to catch in flight. It like waits for me to look away. That's the third time it switched positions and I was looking at my camera or something each time. <sighs> That's it, right there in the tree. Right there. Look how tiny it is. It takes a good eye to, to spot that. He's let me right under him. Well, I've been under him a lot, but he's so tiny. Oh, it's flying again. Perfect. Now it's in good light. It makes a little <laughs> when it flies. Alrighty guys, I just got home and I uh, just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Um, it turned, I was going to do a little more in depth about uh, how I like the capture clip and the L bracket, but they're pretty self-explanatory. Link in the description for both that I use. I hope you guys enjoyed that owl. I know, I was so happy to find it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Share it, let's go.